All right, guys, we are driving the 2023 Durango Hellcat. We're with Brad Pines, one of my favorite instructors I've ever ridden with. Uh, you have a fant you have like the best presentation, the best track briefing presentation I've ever seen. That's so kind. It's 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 humorous, and it doesn't scare people too much, but it's memorable, and I think that's the most important thing. <laughs> so we're in the Durango Hellcat, big SUV, surprisingly capable on track. But because we have valuable cargo, we're gonna take it a little bit easier today. We have a, a new fresh uh, paved surface on Road America. You're paved last fall. So we drove a Durango Hellcat on the street last year. It was awesome. I like the SRT. There's a lot of power here in this Hellcat though. So we'll see how it does today. This is a, this is a vehicle you don't tell what to do. You ask it nicely. Yeah. Yes, of course. I think we're gonna stay in manual. We'll have control over the gears that way. I don't want any surprises with downshifts here today. We're in sport mode. Track reduces traction and stability control, so we'll stay a little bit more conservative. All right, off we go. Blending off, turning in. No shift lights, so you gotta keep an eye on your tack or just hear it. Moving to the right side of the track, we've got a pretty tight little chicane here on the brakes. Little left, right, boom, boom. big SUV. Fit all your friends in here. Eight passengers. Starting on the outside of the carousel. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Moving on to the inside. And we're going to stay here and gradually bleed into the power. On the brakes again. This transmission is great. Clapping over there, I love it. What, what a, a pleasure! pleasure. <laughs> Superb drive. Look how smooth that was. Yeah, I learned a lot from you once. We did a, an instructional school or something with Mama, and, and you guys gave some great instruction. That was that was a fun day. Well, you heard how quiet I was. was. It's because I was just enjoying the ride. Good. Yeah, so much fun. <laughs> that was so smooth. That's uh, rule number one when you're in, with an instructor: don't scare the instructor. <laughs> Yeah, these Hellcats are, they're so much fun. Wow. And I don't know that we'll be, uh, have one of these next year, so get it Yeah. 
Yeah, at first they announced this was a, a very limited special edition and they were only gonna produce it for one year and they sold a bunch of them and then a bunch of people wanted more and so they came out with them for the 22 or 23 model year. So it's good that this is back. I'm sure some owners who thought they had a very exclusive limited Durango Hellcat are a little bit upset, but it's good for more people no, to have more good cars. To build good cars. It is, yes. Well, well that, that was, was a blast. blast. Thanks, Thanks so much. much. I, I really enjoyed, enjoyed that. that. Thank you. Appreciate um, you riding along, and it's good to see you again. Always a pleasure. Likewise. Yeah. Cool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. That'll be it for this one. We'll see you later. Nicely done. Fun. Yeah. That was wonderful. <laughs> well done. Thank the new course. track, um, the repaved surface is it's very different. There's not even really any like lines down from There's braking. There's also or... in a, we had that chicane in there, but. Let's take the chicane out. Mm -hmm. When you transition and go from all the way on one side at full throttle, and I'm well over 100 in my low powered car, mm -hmm. as you transition, there's a seam. So I've got my wheel completely straight, and of course I'm going across the track. It moves the car. Okay. And that's just, I'm sure it'll get, it'll get worn down. Sure. But um, other than that, it's a new track. So yeah, it really you know, is. You're, you're not going to have the kind of grip you're used to. Mm -hmm. But I thought, and I'm not just saying that, you handled the weight transfer of this thing pretty well. Yeah, yeah, you have to. I mean, this is a big, big, heavy car, but... Uh, She's a big girl. <laughs> if you're taking her to the dance, you got to be, you know... That's right. Yeah. But, I mean, as far as big SUVs go, this is kind of the best handling one I've driven. How do... Uh, I haven't... I haven't driven a lap in this. Mm -hmm. uh, how does this compare in your mind to the memory of the Trackhawk? Just emotionally, it's, how does this feel? The Durango's this, better. It's okay. just dynamically better. It's sharper. It's more balanced. It's easier to drive smoothly. Mm -hmm. The Trackhawk was a bit darty. Mm -hmm. and I wonder if the wheelbase is shorter. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. But if this feels more stable... I talked to some Dodge engineers when the Durango SRT came out, right. and they're like, it's better than the the Cherokee, the Grand Cherokee. And I was like, how could it be? It's bigger, it's heavier, it's longer. It's better. <laughs> so they they really, I think, did a good job with the suspension here, and just something about um, the balance of this. Maybe there's a little bit more rear, uh, oh, that rear gives weight, you, yeah. and it's, it's a more like not not quite 50 50 balance i wonder if they but tune closer. the dif differential better too maybe they put a little more yeah. uh rear bias it's fun though it's a it's fun somebody... package cool all right let's see you, brad <laughs> the thing about this too is it's it's so unassuming you just see hellcat badges and some slightly exciting wheels with uh big red brakes Really don't get a sense for what this thing can do. Yeah, Bradley, they all want to ride.